good in the web. I'm your man Q, back again with some more of that geek news. And with E3 right upon us, and a whole bunch of people that I know on the interwebs, from influencers to YouTubers to just, well, doing some good old-fashioned foot stomping on the interwebs, there's supposed to be a lot of secrets and things that's going to be popping up at this year's E3. And one, even though I got two fingers up, one that I think could happen could be Mario Kart. Could you imagine? Anybody who's anybody who has a Switch, there's two games that people always have and have to have, and those are staples, and that's Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and that Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. So with that being said, it's time. It's time. It's Vader time. No, it's actually time for a new Mario Kart and why can't it be something like a Mario Kart 9 Ultimate? And we get every stage, every stage that they've had in Mario Kart. You can't tell me that they can't do it. Don't come to me and tell me that they can't do it because they just did all that for Super Smash Bros. I really feel that Mario Kart 9 has a huge possibility to be shown at this year's E3 because early in January, it was smoke talking about that there might be some kind of unveil or something for Mario Kart later on in the year. And it's May. And June, well, like I just said, has E3. So why can't we get a Mario Kart 9 at least the info for We need another Mario Kart. And I went into the lab to think about 18. Count it. I ain't gonna do my thing because I ain't got that many. Characters that will make an even 60 roster for this Mario Kart. Now don't take any of the other cut characters out. I'll leave them there including the Miis. But me Personally, they'll go along with the 42. I would add some characters that y'all already should know if you know me That's gonna be on my list and first and foremost would be yeah, you got it Gino from Super Mario RPG and if we're at it adding Gino then add his homeboy that dude Mallow as well and booster well the little totem pole big mouth guy while we're at it Add a long-awaited character in Birdo, and somebody no one talks about a lot is one of Wario's antagonists is Captain Syrup, and then go back into the vault of Mario Brothers 2, aka Doki Doki, and get that man, the huge frog. We would also like to see, because we know it's coming, y'all. Look, we already got the, you know, Link, and we got the villagers, we got the squid kids. Let's just bring some of these Smash Brothers characters in. I didn't say go as far as making this Super Mario Kart Smash or Super Smash Kart, which they can do that too if they want, but just for the sake of the video and the list, add uh, still Mario Kart. Let's add some of these characters, some of the original ones. Add in my dude Fox, Samus, Ness, throw in Falcon, Pikachu, Kirby, and to round out the roster, Marth, Zelda, and Ganondorf. You can't leave home without the full Triforce, y'all. You can't do it. If Link in it, and he the courage, you know the power and wisdom is, you know, not too far behind. I feel that they should go back into the archives and get all of the stages from every single game that there was. So, you want them DS ones, that Super Nintendo, that SNES, that GameCube, and when you do that, also implement the double dash technique on certain stages or have it like you do with the smart steering that you can have them do the two things because we already still have the two items locks that we can do. So why not just have that where we can jump back and forth with the double dash type things? I mean, I love the double dash part. You know what? I'm going to add another character to this and I might take one out. I'm not sure yet. But bring back my girl Dixie. Dixie needs some damn love. She needs to be in Smash Brothers 
and she needs some love. As far as the stages go, I would have to implement Altia, which is Marth City, Saffron City because of Pikachu. And then I would go Star Road, which we do have Rainbow Road, but Geno and the whole significance of Mario RPG was the Star Road. And then we already have Rosalina, which I feel that her and Geno have a correlation, and that was his master who sent him out to help Mario, but that's just me. I would also do Nimbus Land, which is also a Super Mario RPG stage, and that's in the clouds. Then Booster's Playhouse, which was a huge story or tower of toys. I could see them just we just going around and around or up and down in circles, and whoever gets to the top, that would be fun for a different type of stage as well. We have to do on it because if you have Ness in the game, you got to do on it. Planet ZB's for Samus because, well, it's Samus. And then you can even think about it, jumping from one ship to another ship and this, you know, going through some kind of rocket booster or something that land on different part of space. I mean, the sky's the limit or the space is the limit. Corneria for Star Fox because Corneria and Star Fox fit together like hand and glove. And Doki Doki Island, which is Super Mario Brothers 2, but Doki Doki Island or Doki Doki in Japan. 60 characters, it'll be over 100 some stages. Get the online right. I mean, damn it. Talk about Super Mario Kart Ultimate. That's an ultimate game. But in a web, what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below if you had a chance to put in eight characters or some of your favorite characters into a new Mario Kart or Smash Brothers type game, but we gonna keep it Mario Kart. Who would you have in it? You already heard my list. Let me know. And as always in the web, and as always, if you did like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel, and if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all things games, all things anime, all things entertainment, sprinkle a little bit of that comedy, and until next time in the web, remember to eat, geek, sleep, repeat. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace. And if you're still thirsty, here's another video for you right here and right here. Water's wet.